Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Liam Jeffrey Property Show. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the One Palm by Omniat. Now, as always, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I like to give you some information about the developer. And in this instance, it's Omniat. Now, Omniat was founded in 2005 by a gentleman called Mr. Madi Amjad. The company has currently 10 projects that have either already been completed or are under construction. The, those projects include the one Omniat by in Business Bay, which is the office buildings near the JW Marriott Marquis Hotel. There's also the Square, which is actually in Deer. It's one of the older projects. I believe this is in collaboration with Moven Pick. Uh, they have the Pad in Business Bay, which you've probably seen if you've been around the area. It's actually a really cool design. It's actually leaning back, which is quite different. And of course, they have the Opus, which is the famous buildings with the, the gap in the middle created uh, by the famous, uh, wonderful, late Zaha Hadid. Now, to be honest, there's not a lot online about the company itself, but if you know, you, you've seen what they've done here, they have a great reputation, they've delivered on all of their projects, and I would imagine that they would deliver something really special with this building. Uh, in terms of completion for this project, we're going to be looking at summertime next year, so quarter two. In terms of this project and, and, and delivery, the CEO and founder, Mr. Madi Amjad himself, recently said that the topping out of the One Palm ahead of schedule is a testament to our team and partners who have worked tirelessly to bring this incredible building to life. From this point on, we now look forward to handing over the keys to our first customers and the official opening. Now, the reason that they're ahead of schedule has a lot to do with a company called Multiplex, who are the contractors for this building. Now, Multiplex have been in Dubai for in, in the region for over 20 years. They have delivered some of the most famous buildings in the city, including Emirates Towers, the Index Tower, and the JW Marriott Marquis uh, Hotel, uh, as well as many, many others. They have done some incredible work, not only in this region, but in the UK and across Australia. And they're obviously doing a really good job so far with the one part. Now, let's take a look at more in detail about this project and why it's going to be so special. So the project, the, the building itself, the structure is going to be 910,000 square feet. And it's going to be completely unlike anything we've really seen in Dubai before in terms of the architecture and design of the building. This is actually uh, designed by a company called Soma, who have won many awards. Uh, they've got a huge name in America. They're actually from New York. And Soma have included three, four, five bedroom residences and three triplex penthouses. So the building's architecture includes double and triple height ceilings. And they've also provided unique outdoor living spaces and the beautiful sanctuaries for people to relax and unwind, perhaps on the weekend. Now, one thing, I visited this project maybe about two weeks ago now. I was, done, I was shown around by Omniat. And one thing that really amazed me and, and kind of uh, really impressed me that I didn't expect was the view that you get from both sides of the building. Obviously, you're going to have the amazing marina skyline view from the back side of the building. But if you look at it from the other side, you've also got the Burj Al Arab. And on a normal clear day, you're also going to get the Burj Khalifa and downtown skyline, which is something that a lot of people probably wouldn't think about. All of the penthouses have both perspectives, so that all the way across the building, one side you're going to have the marina skyline, and then the other side you're going to have the Burj Al Arab, the sea, and the downtown skyline as well. So that's definitely one thing that impressed me. The second thing that also really impressed me was the amount of space that you have on the beach side of the building. And in fact, you actually enter the car park from the beach side. And I was down there, there's so much room, there's gonna be swimming pools, there's gonna be uh, a restaurant down there as well, obviously a, a large beach area for the residents to enjoy. And there's also going to be a, a dock um, for the yachts, there's gonna be a jetty, so people will be able to uh, dock the yachts on the weekends when they're you know, wanting to go out and enjoy the sea with their friends. There's going to be in total 94 penthouses 
Something that I think is quite interesting and really shows the type of developer that Omniat are is the fact that they've included 400 supersized car parking spaces for the residents. So with 94 penthouses, there's going to be plenty of extra car parking space for residents. They have really gone to town and made sure that they've worked with the best designers uh, with this project and each resident will have the option, they get a really personal touch to this project, they get the option to choose from two uh, interior finishes from two of the world's most esteemed interior designers. So the first option is a Japanese company called Super Potato, pretty interesting name. Let me just show you some of the work that they've done before. Super Potato are famous for the Zuma restaurants. Uh, so they've got really modern style fit outs in all of the designs and the show apartment that they've got now at the Palm, at the One Palm, is, has been done by Super Potato. So let me show you some interiors, that's a decking area, so that's kind of the, uh, the natural look that you get with Super Potato. The, on the other hand you have the option to choose from a London based firm called Elysium and Elysium are famous for the One Hyde Park building which they did in London and they've got a different kind of style, it's, it's pretty similar but it's more uh, rich so they use a lot more darker woods and marbles throughout the project. Hopefully you can get a look there, that's the living space so yeah, you can see the dark marble on this side. Kitchens are going to be from Gaganau. Bathrooms are going to be fitted by Toto, two really um, nice brands there that they've chosen. Landscape architect is actually a famous gentleman called Vladimir Jurovic. Let me just show you, because this is another thing that they've really gone to uh, great lengths to ensure residents will enjoy this project is the outside space and they've really taken a lot of care in planning how the outside space is going to look. So, so yeah, I mean I have brochures, if you wanted to, to have a brochure just let me know and I can make sure you have one. Now in terms of uh, sales of this project I'm sure you may have heard about the famous 100 and two million dirham sale that was done on this, this building and it was actually bought by a gentleman from Bahrain, he was a national, Bahraini national, he bought the most expensive apartment ever to be sold in Dubai and it was on the top floor, it was a triplex so there was actually three floors and he had one request when he was buying the project, uh, buying the apartment and that was to have a 20 meter lap pool on top of his penthouse and one Omniat, uh, Omniat have agreed to that obviously. He um, will enjoy, I'm sure, um, this project and yeah, I can see him, uh, you know, having the privacy of his own pool, something that you're not really going to get anywhere else, I don't think, in Dubai at the moment. Um, if we're looking at prices now, prices started originally around 12.5 million for the three bedroom for the smaller type. But now I think the availability that they have left starts from around 14 million from what I believe. In terms of amenities and facilities, so there's going to be a one palm clubhouse which is on the beach side, there's going to be a fine dining restaurant, there's going to be indoor and outdoor swimming pools, there's going to be an indoor cinema, an outdoor cinema, barbecue area, residence lounge, children's pool and children's playroom and a luxury spa and I'm sure I probably missed off a few things extra as well. Payment plan for the project will be 45% during construction and 55% on handover. Like I said, availability starting now from around 14 million, which equates to 3,500 dirhams per square, per square foot, all the way up to 4,500 dirhams per square foot. And finally, a little bit of extra information that a lot of people might not know about this project is that Dorchester are actually going to do the management of this uh, this building so you can really imagine the type of service and quality that you'll get whilst living and staying in these residences. 
That's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a little bit about the One Palm. If you have any questions, you want to find out more on this project or any of the others that you've seen around Dubai, then of course let me know and I'll be happy to give you my take. Thanks for watching.